Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I'm just hopping on with a quick tutorial that you guys have been asking for and yeah, I got a long list of tutorials <laughs> that you guys have been asking for. So I had showed this on Instagram maybe like a month ago and talked about it in one of my videos and everyone has been asking for a tutorial. So um, I'm going to do it, but I try to tell you guys, I'm not like the best at this. Um, there's different tools you can get. I'm just going to show you like the quickest way um, I do these. I don't know how to wire wrap beads. I've tried it. I'm not good at it. And I'm like a crazy perfectionist. So they look horrible. I can't put it on. Um, so I do a quick, easy, just kind of twirl at the top. For my loops but you can use any beads that you want you can make it as long as you want as short as you want this is just so you don't lose your glue pin and I do have to say I have never lost a glue pin ever ever one time I lost it and I knew it went into the garbage like my recycle bag and I got a magnet and I swirled down to the bottom and it popped right up with that magnet. <laughs> so I have never lost one. One broke. Um, but other than that, um, I've never lost it. And I use the Art Glitter Glue Stainless Steel uh, pens in my glue. So that way they don't get rusty. Um, but you could either use this kind of a earring back. And you can get these things at Hobby Lobby, Amazon, wherever. Um, the beads, all these beads are from Happy Craft Crafter Shop. I love her beads. I love her little shop. Um, and I love her Instagram sales, which I'll show you kind of what I do with those too. But you can use this backing. I prefer the other one. I'll show you. I'm just getting it out. I have some extras here. So I like this one because it for sure does not slide at all. This one sometimes will, but right now, I mean, this one's pretty good. But I do like this. So this just keeps it on. You guys can make these yourselves. Just saying, it's really easy. So um, I just have a jump ring at the top. I have used, like, um, I get chain from Hobby Lobby's, Michael's, wherever. But you also, if you have broken necklaces, use the, I always say, look in your jewelry box. There's always like either missing, um, like one of a kind pieces or not one of a kind, but you're missing the pair. <laughs> um, so, or like broken chains. So you can use that too. But we're just going to go ahead and get into this. See how we do. I'm not great at this. I use, these are like my staples. And... I have a bunch of little minis that I use. As you can see, they're really worn. The colors like rubbed off because um, I like having these traveling. So um, I have these, but you for sure need, you need a needle nose. I think, I can't even remember names of stuff anymore, but a needle nose plier um, to, um, you know, yep, mm -hmm, do that. <laughs> Curl your, your top. I don't know what I'm trying to say, to loop it around. And then any type of these, I like to have two. Um, and then I obviously have a cutter. I think these are my lawn fawns. Yeah, this lawn fawn's really good. It gets in really close, but you can find a lot of the stuff in the jewelry aisle. Um, and they're just fun to have in your stash, but you can add these things like to this. You can add them to um, the spines of your mini albums. I, which I've been saying, I just haven't done it yet. I wanted to make some bookmarks so I was going to add some to the bookmarks, but I have all these ideas. I just don't have enough of me <laughs> to go around. So we are going to start with, let's just start with some pinks. So I just, I, just, I wish you guys could see my upstairs game room, the room that I will be moving into eventually. I took all my beads up there because I was making all the stuff for my daughter's bridal shower. Oh my gosh, I now have like messes in every room. Why not? They're empty. Nothing's happening, so I can mess them up. But, okay, so I just have, so this um, formula, 
whatever combination is with silver, but you could do with gold. These mostly are from um, several of her Instagram kits that she'll sell. I just put them all together by color. Not in this, of course. I had them out because I was making stuff. And then I bead my own and add to it. So some of these are mine. Some of these are hers. But I just like, you know, it's just a calming thing to just sit there, watch a movie, beat up some beads. And then you're ready to go when you want to make something. So we'll do a pink one. And let's see. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I just grabbed some things to play with. I have these here, um, and I have the flathead, um, I don't, I don't even know what stuff's called. What can I think? I have a migraine. That's probably why. Um, flathead pens that I work with a lot, but these are really pretty. I saw, uh, Lisa from Happy Crafter using these with the ball at the bottom, and I, she, I was like, girl, you've got to tell me what you're using, um, because of my stash, which, you know, I'm old school. I didn't have those. So gonna have some jump rings to attach and see what else we want you can have some um, bead caps which I feel are a must for a lot of the beads to dress them up make them fun so there's some like this I've ordered some online like this bag has a, just a variety of different ones so all you have to type in is um, bead caps and a whole bunch of different things will come up I don't know if I'm gonna use any of these but you know we'll just set a couple they're just you know they're just fun to have in your stash like I said just some just some pretties and like I said I want this to be simple so I probably won't even use those but just in case and I have most of these beaded up anyways. When I say beaded up, I mean with the pen actually in it. Okay, can I get this open? And you can, do I have, I think I have a gold one. Yes, because I just bought it not too long ago. But you can buy them like this um, at any of the stores. I've got that on sale, right? Like, why not? And I'm going to, oh, and I got these during that sale. So you could do like colored chains. I'm just going to take apart this one here and we'll use this one, which is a little thick, but it's okay. Okay, so I kind of just lay out like what I want. I have no idea. And like I said, it could be, what a little blue one in there. Oh, whoa, whoa nearly. Now I do have a jewelry tray that keeps beads from rolling around. <laughs> but I, I don't have that down here because it has a whole bunch of beads on it. Um, let's see, I want this one for sure. And I think we'll beat up a couple of these pinkies. And I don't know, we'll see what this looks like. We'll go for this and see. Okay, and you can do it any length you want. So like this is a really long one and I've made some chunky ones, um, but I think I'm going to just make this a little shorter. And what is there, maybe? So I just have to take it apart. Okay, so I'm just coming in, getting the length I want, doing that backwards. And we're just gonna go with this, this length here. So I do like to have like an end, whether it's a charm or a bigger ball, I like it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Now we will get out where our, our little jump rings here. I like these to be small and if you do this which I will show you guys here I'll just show a couple let's just put a couple together I have random sizes in this bag 
So we will do this one. So sometimes, and you have to test it because your hole might be too big for this and you might have to put like an end cap on there. But for these, I don't do an end cap, but you can. I just take, and I don't know if this is right. So for those professionals out there, like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Don't care. <laughs> this is just how I do it. And once it's all together, it works. And this is just easy. So it just looks like that. Nice and easy. You can clip the end, but I don't see a need to clip off any of these. Like, can you guys see the end piece right there? Because once they're on the charm, I just try to make sure it's kind of pushed in and, you know, not sticking out. But once it's on, not the charm, but the dangle with a whole bunch of other dangles, you don't see any of that. But if you were making something for, um, you know, like to sell and to some, I would, you know, make sure it's really cleaned up and nice. So I just take my two pliers, opening that. We're going to start putting this together. I guess I got to do the other one too. And I just kind of go, um, you know, look at it as I'm going. Sometimes I move the beads because I don't like how it lays. But again, I'm just, I'm just weird like that. So we have this one on there now. We'll do one at the top for where it's going to go on the pin. So I just kind of grab them in the center, open them all kinds of funky ways. I used to be a lot better when I made, let's see, I don't know if I like this length. This looks really long. This is kind of long. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Hold, please. Stop it. Okay, we're just going to keep going. We are going to make this shorter. I think I'll try to do just kind of a smaller one. I should have just left that on there. Um, a smaller one to show you guys, like this one is a long kind of chunkier one. They don't have to be gigantic. I know some people have these on um, like their pokey tools, on their scissors. But I just, for the, the pins for sure. And this was from, this is not my idea. Um, one of my friends, Marguerite, had sent me, she sent me a couple actually, I'm pretty sure, I think I have two of them from her, um, and I loved it so much, and I used it ever since, and um, I just thought it'd be fun to make some different ones for different like themes, so this one, Valentine's, because it has the hearts, then you could have a more generic one, but then like I made my friend one for like a winter theme. And you could put a clasp on them and change them out. Um, but, like, all you have to do is just change this out. What am I even saying? I don't know. So, again, it's just kind of playing around with what you like. And because this one is going to be a little daintier. And you guys tell me your thoughts. Like, when you would have stopped or if you would have kept going. You guys lo know I love to hear from you. I've been really bad about responding. The last video, you guys, it was no joke. Okay, sorry. I'm not even in frame. Um, you guys were not messing around with the comments on those bridal <laughs> little books. I still, I think, did I get through it? I don't even know if I got through it. I think there was like 150 comments. I don't know that I've ever had that ever. So you guys really liked that one, and thank you. That was very nice, supporting my channel that way. And yes, I will do a tutorial this week as I'm smacking my mouth because I got spit. <laughs> I know, I'm a disaster. But, um, yeah, I've been really bad about responding to every single thing, and I apologize. I do plan to get caught up. It's just with my daughter moving out, dealing with the roof stuff, which still has not started. We just got all the money finalized. 
and they're supposed to start Friday of this week. And then, um, let's see if I want just like a little, I feel like I want another pink in there. Boop. Let's try, yeah, let's try that pink. So I need to say, yeah, there's just been a lot in going to Creativation and doing my design team projects for retreats, as well as getting um, my uh, Happy craft Crafter Shop projects complete. It's just been, you know, been crazy busy. Crazy busy. I had a job offer this morning. Someone from, you know, my old work relationships called. I'm just like, hmm. I told them I'm thinking about it because, you know, I don't want to be that definite in the no. <laughs> but I just, I'm just taking this year off. I just, kind of, sort of, like I'm doing other stuff, but. I'm just having fun. Like, I've never been able to do this. I worked really hard. And when I say that, I am a workaholic. So even, you know, since I was 15, I'll be 50 this year. So 45 years of working. I probably have worked like three full-time jobs. Like, compared to regular people. I don't even know how to say that. But you guys get the gist of what I'm talking about. I've worked a lot. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're going to try this. Now, rule of thumb always is in visual. In visual anything. That's artistic, creativeness, blah, blah, blah. It's supposed to be odds. Things done in odd amounts. Tiffany does not care. <laughs> if I want two, I'm doing two. I'm just saying. I know the rules. And I'll teach you guys the rules. But hey, this is creativity. We do what we want and what we like, right? Okay. So let's just see. This is just one that's kind of dainty. It's what we're calling it. A little dainty. We'll see how it looks, you guys. Give me your opinion. I have this on the wrong one. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, what did I just do with the earring backing? Is it right in front of my face? And I don't see it. Nope, it's over here. Okay. Be sure not to stab yourself because I have done that before. Okay, we're just going to go the other way. And we have a little... Okay, I know you guys can't see this very well, but what do you guys think? Does that work for you? Is that, Carolina, what do you think? <laughs> do you want any of these, Miss Carolina, from Carolina's Crafts? I told her I would make her one, even though the girl makes beautiful dingles. I don't know why she's wanting one, but there's this one here, or I could just keep trying and I'll send you pics, but I know she wanted a, a smaller version. But you never lose, <laughs> you never lose your needle this way. Like I said, not my idea. I'm not the genius, but I will take it because it's fun. Okay, so let me just show you. I'm just going to wrap this one because I can make another one. So I'm just going to find a medium size here. And these are really thin ones that you could use your fingers and wrap. Um, if you guys want more videos on other ways of doing, like, the beads, I can. I just, like I said, I am not, like, the pro. You can't even see this. You're better here. I'm just grabbing it at the end, trying to look to see what I'm showing you guys. And I just twist it around to one side or the other. And I know somebody has, like, a better video because I've seen it before. I don't remember if it was Lisa from Happy Crafter Shop. I feel like it was one of her designers. They're really good at it. Okay, so can you see? Now you just have a little 
a little boop boop. And then again, like you just make up a whole bunch of these. All of these. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. I have some turquoisey ones. Some I've already beaded up. Oops, stop it. Stop moving. Let's put you. I need some more of these. I don't know. It's do I want it? I don't know if I want it on there. We're gonna see. Do I want it on this? Uh, I'm gonna wait. I want to see what it looks like on the silver. I have these to play with. These are from Happy Crafter Shop. She had I won these in a um, a giveaway, and these were in her shop. Her shop. These I had in my stash and I just ordered like these ones here. So we are going to, I think I need some white in here. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna play with that. I don't know what we're doing, but we're going for it. Okay, and now we're gonna do, and this one is just like two inches that we're getting ready to play with. Just rummage through your jewelry, see what you have, or your beads that you already have. See if there's some chains, or like I said, you could, they're really cheap. You could just find them anywhere. And I think I'm going to take that one off and put this on as the top, like so. Okay. And now I want this one at the bottom. And on this one, because this was a heavier bead, I didn't use these here. I did use like a regular, um, oh my gosh, what are these called? The pins with the loops at the bottom. An eye pen. <laughs> I don't even know. I am struggling today. Okay, so I had already did this, so I'm just going to open this back up if I could see where, nope. Okay, so I'm going to open this back up, and I have it crooked. So I, I was doing these at night. I could barely see. I don't know what was going on. Daytime is definitely better for this. So I'm just looping this on. I'm going to close it back up. This one is a little tight because this is a chunky chain okay and then do I want we'll see we'll see if I put something at the bottom because I don't know yet now I have one of these do I only have one of those I think I do which I have more upstairs so I kind of play with you know where I want things to land stop that if they don't move <gasps> And just kind of put them in place. This, believe it or not, is a blue color. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I do like some chunky sometimes, so we'll see. This video is probably already too long for you guys. But I promise you guys, this is really easy. If I had an Etsy, I would sell them, but I don't. And I just don't know if I, I just don't know if I ever want to do that. I don't like having all this stuff around my house, but I also, can you guys see? No, you can't really see what the heck I'm doing. It's blurry. I, you guys probably, I don't even know. I haven't been paying attention this whole time of what you actually could see me doing. So that is probably really helpful for you guys. We're just opening up a loop, if we could do it right. I put lotion on my hands and they're really slimy. <laughs> okay. Open it up, put it on where you want it, and then close it back up. I kind of like to do um, I like to spread them out, then come back in and fill in. Because then I'll know if 
I want it, you know, a certain way. So we have that on there so far. Let's try a white. Do, do, do. I'm telling you, if you um, shop her store, Lisa's store, Happy Crafter Shop, mark your calendar for the first of every month. And she always has some good beads at an amazing price. Like a really good price, especially if you don't want to have to buy like a big lot from, you know, like an AliExpress or something. But you want multiple things. I have just been building now. Okay, when I say that, I have a ton of beads. But I like her beads. <laughs> so she has her own little box. Because I like hers so much. She has her own little box. I have little containers. I have them sorted by the style, the colors. So when I need something, you know, I can just go right to it. And let's get another one. I don't know if I'm going to put these, one on, these ones on there, but I might. So I'm going to put this light blue. Let's do... I'm going to do this one like down here. Yes. I wish it was easier for you guys to see what I'm doing, but hopefully you guys are getting the gist. So this is how this one is coming along. I definitely would either do like, you know, one more of these or what does it look like if we just kind of tuck that in there? Let's just give it a try. We are going to... Try this one. Let's try this fancy. Since we kind of have fancy on this one. Does that work? Yes, it does. Let's do a thinner one on top. You don't have to have one on top. Get it in the right hole. You can get kits, you know, um, not kits. Um, Instagram kits from Lisa if you follow her on Instagram every once in a while she does Instagram sales and she will this is not showing you guys stuff very well she will have kits that she sells and some of them are beaded up or you know already done some aren't and then you could just you know Do it from hers. I did not twist that very well, but it's okay because you can come back in, get everything where you want it. Now this one I think I want to clip because I wasn't paying attention where I had that. So I just snipped that off, but it's ready to go. Lisa, if you're watching, you should do more of, I don't have, but I bought it from her was in an Instagram sale. It was a little container that had some end caps. It had some of the pens. And I think it even had like a chain in it, like ready to go. You should do more of those, Lisa, like starter kits for everybody. You know, just because. <laughs> and can you please do a silver one for me? I already have a gold. I'm really just wanting you to do it for me. <laughs> I know, I'm terrible. Okay, I think, I think, I think. I know we should have another one down in here. But for now, let's go up top. Okay, so I just kind of look to see how things are hanging. Stop that. Oh, oh. Bouncy, bouncy. And I know there's some of these, like mine are really old. But there are some that are magnetic, so it holds things a lot better. So, if you like that idea, I would be on the lookout for those type of tools. Like a magnetic plier. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, 
don't put lotion on before working with this stuff. My hands are so slippery. But I also don't like you guys seeing my crusty fingers. Okay, that one is on there. These are just fun. It's just nice and relaxing. I'm not gonna lie, I do like the chunkies. I never thought I did. So this is the same premise as making a dangle, a charm dangle. So you guys, I have several that I've made that I have showed. You can have a big lobster claw in here. I have two because one, I just used this to hang, but it could have a small one on there. Um, I've seen people put these charm dangles on their journals, on their bags. Um, like I said, they're great for like a bookmark. You could put it on a paper clip and have that as a bookmark. But I do like making chunkies. I never knew I liked making chunkies because I never made a chunky dangle before. But they are fun. So this is the same way. I'm just showing you guys some of the ones I have here, which I actually have a lot. So I'm not going to show all of them. But this, I'm doing it the same way on all these. Just this, I'm not putting the lobster claw up top. Now I gotta find the top. Okay, now let's just put this on and see what it looks like. So I do like to, when I'm working on any type of dangle, I like to hang them somehow. So you gotta find the way to hang them. So for this, we're just gonna hang it because we have the glue to see how it lays when it's in position of how it's supposed to be. Because when it's laying on the table, you can make that look however you want, but, this keeps spinning, but when it's here, you guys can't see that very well, that's not working, stop spinning. Um, like see, I could see we kind of have a hole. The reason why it's coming out, because this isn't really like the tip that I normally use. I use a metal tip on all my glue so it stays better. Okay, so I definitely want one more blue. Maybe two more. <laughs> We're just going to do it, right? Okay, let's just do it. Let's just get these done. So we'll do one more. I know, and if this video is just really not helpful... I warned you guys. <laughs> I did, I did. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got glue all over my finger. It's gonna drive me crazy. Or it could be skin. <laughs> Who knows? So just coming in, clamping on the smallest like part, not too small where you can't fit something in between, and then just keep grabbing as you're twisting. But just make sure when you're twisting that you're on one side. And if somebody has a better way, feel free. Let us know if you have a video. I'm sure there's a ton of videos out there. As soon as I showed this on my Instagram, I did see several people making them, which was awesome. So glad that I can inspire you guys to be creative. Okay, where do I want them? Put this one down here. You do kind of have to see where Things are landing, whether it's on the left or right, hoopy doo. These are all technical terms, by the way. This is how you say things. Now I just twisted that. Okay, now we're going to do this one that we just did. And then that is it. Let me guys know if I need to do another video on something. But like I said, this is the gist of it. If I was just terrible in this video and didn't help you at all, <laughs> let me know on what part so that I might be able to do another video. 
I do have, like I said, a long list right now, which is nice, but I just have so much stuff I want to do around my house. And cleaning is not one of them, but I want to get rid of all, like seriously, all my kids' stuff, just everything. I have stuff forever. I, you guys, I cleaned out, oh my gosh. Okay, one, I cleaned out a condiment cabinet, and... That, like, I haven't touched, I'm, I'm going to tell you, and you'll know that when I haven't touched this. Not like I've used them, but the expiration dates, and it was, like, on this very high shelf. I haven't been cooking, in, like, since before, well, COVID I cooked because I had no choice. But I didn't cook with this stuff. I just went and bought new stuff. But it had been pretty much, like, up there since I moved from my other house, which is, it was, like, 12 years ago. And I'm not joking. Something said 2015, something. So I've just been emptying out cabinet by cabinet sorry that I'm you know uh, polluting the earth because I was I'm not even gonna try to lie there was so much garbage I just it was like out of sight out of mind but just going through cleaning that's my goal is I want to purge my house completely and not have all the excess stuff so it's hard to see with let me just try to lay this down the sun is coming in right now. I should say it's going down, but it comes in on this side. Like, this is what that one looks like. Kind of, sort of. If it's laying down, then you have this dinky one. But you can make them any size. You can make them straight, which I've shown before. I don't love this one that I have, but I actually have been using it. But I don't love it. So you can make it just like one long one. It doesn't have to be this long. I probably like you could cut off like say even to right there and have it. That would be cute. Some point I might just split this into two. And then this one is just a little chunkier with some other elements. But let me let me know what you guys think. One, was this helpful at all? <laughs> I'm sorry if it wasn't. Two, what is your style? Do you like chunky, thin, dainty? Let me know. But there you guys go. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, but it was just a quick tutorial on how to do, you know, just kind of the basics of a dangle. And again, you can use these as charm dangles. You can use them as the glue pen dangle. You will never lose your pen. And you can use them on bookmarks. You can use them on books etc. I usually don't put these on books. I know someone has asked, or not someone, a few of you have asked for me to show them on a mini album, which I still will because I love you guys. And I try to do what you guys ask because I just think it's more fun for us to show each other, you know, different ways to do stuff. I just don't love them necessarily on the spines because when you open it, it's there. So you have to flip it up. I don't know. It's just me, but it is cute. Like I, every time I see an album with it on spine, I absolutely love it. I just don't know that it's practical for me, but that's it. Okay. I will stop talking. Stop talking, Tiffany. There you guys go. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.